With so much data on our computers, it would be a tragedy if we were to lose it all due to a computer crash. If this is the case, then why are there so many people that don't back up? This is because it is expensive, inconvenient, and time consuming. Today I'll show you a few free options that are convenient and easy that you can use to back up online. So first, let's start off with Dropbox. Dropbox gives you two gigabytes of free storage and you can pay for more, but that doesn't matter because there's plenty more options on this list. Next, we have SkyDrive from Microsoft that gives you seven gigabytes of storage. Next, we have SugarSync, which gives you five gigabytes. Next, we have iDrive, which also gives you five gigabytes. Next, we have SpiderOak, which once again gives you five gigabytes. Next, we have A Drive, which is a little larger than the rest of these. It's 50 gigabytes, but there's a two gigabyte file size limit. There's no desktop client, and it can be very unreliable, so I'd recommend trying out the rest of these before you go to A Drive. Next, we have Box, which was formerly Box.net, but they dropped the .NET. They give you five gigabytes. Next, we have Google Drive, which used to be Google Docs, and they give you five gigabytes. Finally, we have Mosey, which is an online backup service that usually people think of as paid, but they do provide two gigabytes of free storage. Now, this one may be a little more limiting, but if you do use Linux, you might want to try out Ubuntu One, which provides five free gigabytes. Now, don't forget, many of these services offer a link that you can give out to your friends, and for each of them that signs up, you can get additional storage, and they also get additional storage, so you pretty much just get more storage. Now, one more thing. Before you go uploading your important files to these services, you might want to encrypt them. If you're just doing some simple documents that don't have any financial information, it's probably fine to go without encrypting them, as many of these services may offer some form of encryption before you send them. Now, if you are going to be storing important files on these services, you're going to want to protect them with a program called TrueCrypt. And you can see that at a link in the description. And I also have a video on how to use that if you need to know how. While many of these services provide a desktop client that makes it easy for you to copy files, it only works with their service. If you are interested in trying out one program that will do all of this for you, check out Gladinet Cloud Desktop. You can find a link in the description. Now, if all these cloud services that I've shown you just aren't enough to store all your files, you can try out CrashPlan. They do provide a paid cloud backup solution, but you can also use their program to backup to a friend's computer for free. So that's just about it. What's your favorite method for cloud storage? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.